tired? I'm very tired of yelling over the people. I know. I don't know exactly. I almost wish I had like an earpiece with like a microphone and I just talked to him gently. Where's the champion? There's the champion. Hey guys. Hi. Look at that. Congratulations. Good job. As so expected, right? As expected. What are you going to do now? No, it's up to you. Well, uh, You're going to relax a little bit, I hope. Or are you moving on to the next? I might do one more show before the Olympia and then just hope to know. But not tomorrow or the next day? No. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Congratulations. Awesome. I think it was like her best one. She was about five to seven pounds heavier in just this condition. So. And we brought up her back a little bit. tell you I know what did I tell months before but the you show you never know and I, I always <laughs> want to just like be humble and like you never know who's going to show up that's okay I knew I, I told him <laughs> ask him I told him I said who's going to beat her <laughs> good. congratulations yeah. a little bit yeah. from the judges feedback so that's what I was saying I thought we had just said and she said as my upper body is a little to match my upper body I need to be my lower body but it's not really a problem. No problem. Yeah. Hi, BK. What do you think about this girl? Pretty impressive. So second at the Olympia, first at the Arnold. There's only one spot left. You gonna get that or what? I will. How old are you, Natalia? I'm 22. 22 years old. Unreal. Wow. It's a lot of talent. Very yeah. cool. Well, we're very, uh, very proud and very glad to have you guys on the channel. Oh yeah, your show is a big hit, and uh, people are really happy. They're, they're grateful, right, champ? He even told me, he says, "Man, Matt's stuff is really good." Like, I don't know if he watches anything else but his own stuff, but he actually told me that. So, yeah, good, very cool. We're happy to be a part of it. Yeah, awesome.
Yeah. So hopefully you're healthy, you're not hurting. <laughs> Mitch, thank you so much for talking today to us. Thanks for, having, thanks for being on the channel, we appreciate it. All right, so Natalia, I want you to talk about this, this last prep. You just finished very strong at the Olympia last year, second place, came to the Arnold, obviously a favorite. Won that show, what have you guys worked on since the Olympia? Because you compete a lot. Last year you did a lot of shows, and then you haven't competed since the Olympia, but is that enough time for you to make the kind of progress you want and make the improvement? Yes, I believe so, especially because after the Olympia, when we talked to the judges, they said I didn't need to, you know, like add much more, more muscle. So the amount of time that we did a little off season was enough to build more my middle and upper back, upper body, actually, my arms are a little bit bigger as well. So that's pretty much what we focus on, on my upper body try to make the knee shape, you know, keep my weight small. More symmetrical. Yeah. Gotcha, the shape. So Matt, do you help her with the training as well or is it just mostly the diet or do you get bounce ideas or? Mostly the diet, um, but I mean, I'll throw training like tips here and there. Yeah. Um, she has a pretty down path for her training. Okay. Uh, mainly just monitoring the diet and then like, I mean, honestly, the main thing is like making the best decision possible. So like when to cut cardio, when to add cardio, when to, how to peak properly because like, with her metabolic rate, she could be ready like six weeks out, but I don't like to do that. I like to make sure she comes down at the right exact time. And whenever you come down at the right exact time and you peak perfectly, your body's fresh and your muscles pop, you aren't haggard, you aren't tired. If she were to peak two weeks early, she'd have to maintain it and I don't like that. Yeah. So like I, I, I land the plane very carefully. You, know? so you, have, you told me last year you have to fight with her a little bit because she really likes to compete. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, please don't compete so much. Give me some time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially when there's like, uh, if there's off-season improvements from the judges. But I mean, if she is, when she has like enough mass, which she pretty much does, we actually need to bring up, apparently her quad sleep a little bit more now to balance out with her upper body. Um, she can compete as much as she wants, but I think, I mean, just for health, longevity, focus on Arnold and Olympia, because she should be in this Olympia one day. Soon, I think so. How is this guy as a coach? I mean, is it the first coach you ever had, or Natalia? Is, it, is Matt the first coach you ever had, or? No, he's my second coach. I started with Chris, and then I met Matt. Where did you guys meet? At the uh, Miami Nationals. With okay. The okay. I actually talked to them before the pro, and I became sponsored by NBA. And I've been seeing how much knowledge he has, how much I could, you know, learn more from him. And after the show, we talked, and he showed me like some tips on how to pose, and from there, it's just like... And he's got his athlete's health at heart, yes. because he cares so much about his own, he wants to make sure you guys are okay as well, that's important. So, we talk about it all the time on the show, it's, you gotta do it smart these days, you know, so, if you want a long career. I agree, yeah. Right. So, well, I mean, a lot of, um, not all coaches, but a lot of them really just want the best before and afters, the best results, to make their resume look really good. And like there's of, no life after the stage. But they yeah. don't care if the athlete like goes into kidney failure or something happens to them and it's like, okay, on to the next one. Yeah. I want to set these people up to where they can look good and actually have longevity. And retire in health. Yeah. As so, well. So yeah. I'm not all about this like burn them out, burn them out. Yeah. You know? I appreciate that. That's one of the things that made me choose for him because I was always all about health. And I always saw how much he cares about his clients. And by like time, time, year by year, I saw like every athlete that works with match, his health, looks good, condition, and I'm like, that's what I want for me, you know. I want to be healthy and represent this sport for a long time. What's the plan for the Olympia, you guys? What do you want, what do you want to work on to uh, get better for the Olympia? Well, the judges told her that she needs a little bit more quad sweep now. Okay. As good as her legs are, they're amazing. Um, but she can do that with her genetics, um, with just a couple different training tweaks and then enough food. She can definitely improve her legs. Um, we improved her back tremendously. Honestly, she's pretty much right there. It's fine tuning it. That's it's fine like tuning nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, only one spot left. So there's only yeah. one spot left, man. Then what happens? What happens when you miss Olympia? What? What then? Do you go for ten years? <laughs> when That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the go. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, wow, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, I'm sure Matt's very proud to have you in an MPA team. And then uh, I want to say thank you and good luck. Thank you.